Hello and welcome to the roundup of this year's final edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 16 December 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly senior deputy editor Rebecca Campbell writes how a new space weather center aims to provide real-time solar storm forecasts. For the South African National Space Agency's Hermanus facility, 2022 has been the year of space weather. The Space Weather Center is recognized by the International Civil Aviation Organization as a regional space weather center and is the only such facility in Africa. The engineering news features focus on top water and sanitation projects, where the Lesotho Highlands Water Project Phase 2 is to reach completion in 2028 and top transport and logistics projects, where digital engineering is key to an award-winning level crossing removal project. The Mining Weekly features focus on mining industry embedded generation projects, where solar projects help to support a miner's gold and PGM's operations. Top coal projects, where Menar's Zululand anthracite colliery expansion project is on track. And top platinum group metals projects, where increased output is attributed to a facility's expansion. This week's business leader is Sereme Mapaka, CEO of Methano Group. And as this week's cartoon shows, no matter how hard the ANC tries to hide its toxic factional politics, it's plain for all to see, and it doesn't seem to be getting any better. The frightening thing for South Africans is that the weaker the ANC gets, the more desperate and populist it is likely to become. We hope you enjoy the final 2022 edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next year.